Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at this example. We were given this function h of x defined as x times our natural exponential function e to the x. And here we are asked to find uh, h prime of a, x, h double prime of x, h triple prime of x, and h n of x. So remember this is asking us to find the first derivative, the second derivative, the third derivative. And then uh, once we're past the third derivative we kind of switch our notation a little bit, put kind of some parentheses in that superscript. Uh, and inside of those parentheses is the number of the derivative we are taking. So if that was a little four inside of those parentheses, it'd be asking us for the fourth derivative. That n t is telling us we're asking for the nth derivative. The idea is, after finding the first three derivatives of this function, we might be able to find a pattern that'll help us take a shortcut to the nth derivative of this function. So if we look at our function, it's x times the natural exponential function. Since we have some multiplication going on here, we're going to want to use our product rule to differentiate this function. So we're going to think of our function uh, h of x as the product of two functions u and v. Then our product rule says that the derivative of h of x would be the derivative of the first function times the second plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. So now we need to identify these four components that we need in our product rule u is representing our first function, which is going to be that x factor. v will represent our second function, the function we have to multiply x by to get back to h of x, and that's e to the x. So now we need u prime as well as v prime in order to use our product rule. And both of these derivatives are pretty easy to find. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of e to the x is itself. Okay, so now we have the pieces that are required to find the first derivative of our function, what we're calling h prime of x. We just have to take the derivative of u, which is 1, multiply that by v, which is e to the x. And I'm going to write it all out here, even though we might not need to write that factor of 1. But 1 times e to the x is that first piece of our product rule. The second piece or term is u times v prime. u is x and v prime is e to the x. So to add to this x times e to the x, and if we kind of rewrite this, it's just uh, e to the x plus x e to the x. So to differentiate this function once, it looks like we got the original function back and out popped a factor of e to the x. So now let's go ahead and find the second derivative of our function. So in order to find the second derivative of the function, you just take the derivative of the first derivative. So we have our first derivative here. It's e to the x plus x times e to the x. And in order to find the second derivative here, we're going to have to use the uh, sum rule as well as the product rule. So if we start by taking the derivative of that first term, e to the x, well, that function is equal to its own derivative. So we get the derivative of the first function and we have to add to that the derivative of our second function, but the derivative of our second function is x times e to the x. That's the function we just differentiated. So we could take the time to write out the product rule steps again, but we already have them up on the board, so we can just basically copy down our work from what we just did. The derivative of x times e to the x we just found was e to the x plus x times e to the x. So now if we combine some like terms there, we have two e to the x's, we can rewrite the second derivative as two e to the x times x e to the x. So again, the original function kind of still shows up, but out popped a second factor of e to the x. All right, so if we're taking the uh, third derivative of our function, again, the third derivative is nothing more than the derivative or the first derivative of the second derivative. We have our formula for the second derivative up on the board still, so we just have to differentiate that. So first we'll differentiate 2 times e to the x using the constant multiple rule. Now using the sum and difference rule, we have to add to that the derivative of x times e to the x, but in the last two examples we've kind of already differentiated that function x times e to the x. We know it's coming. The derivative of x times e to the x is e to the x plus x times e to the x. Well now if we uh, combine our like terms again, what do we end up with? Well, 3e to the x 
plus x times e to the x. And so hopefully after taking the third derivative of this function, we can start to see the pattern that is emerging. The first time we differentiated x times e to the x, what happened? We got the original function back and out popped 1 e to the x. The second time we differentiated our function, or looking at the second derivative of our function, the original function comes back, but we get two copies of e to the x. What happens when we differentiate our function three times over? Well, we got the original function back, and we got three copies of e to the x. So the pattern that we're kind of seeing here is whenever we take a derivative of this function, we get the function back, and out pops a certain number of e to the x's. The number of e to the x's we get corresponds to the derivative we are taking. So if we want to find the nth derivative of our function, well, we're going to have n copies of e to the x, right? One copy of e to the x pops out each time we differentiate, and we get the original function back. Hey everyone, we got another uh, product rule example coming at you in this video. Uh, here we're given the function defined as y is equal to the cube root of x times the quantity uh, x minus 1 over x. And here we're asked to evaluate uh, dy dx at x equals 8. So we're trying to find the uh, value of the derivative of this function when x or the input is equal to 8. So the way the function is written is as a product. So we're going to want to use the product rule to start finding our derivative. So we have to identify these uh, functions u and b to get started with. u is going to be that function that is our first factor, the cube root of x. Here I'm going to write that as x to the 1 third to make finding its derivative easier. And v, well that's going to be our second function, the one inside parentheses. That's going to be x minus 1 over x. And I'm going to rewrite that 1 over x as x to the negative 1 to help us find its derivative so we're going to use uh, just the power rule and maybe like the sum and difference rule to find the derivatives of these pieces we need. Uh, u prime is going to be 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds, just using the power rule, bring that exponent down, then decrease it by 1. And v prime, well that's going to be equal to 1 plus x to the negative 2. And so now we have the uh, four components we need to use our product rule and find the derivative of y with respect to x. But I want to do something a little bit different in this example. Instead of kind of multiplying all these gross functions together to get a formula for dy dx, we're actually going to evaluate our pieces at x equals 8. And that'll make it a little bit easier to put all these pieces back together. So this is a nice little short, you, shortcut you can do, kind of simplify the process. Sometimes it's not necessary. It really depends on how complicated of functions are involved. So let's see, if we find the value of these four components at 8, what is u of 8? Well, we got to plug in 8 into x to the 1 3rd. Uh, it's taking the cube root of 8, which is equal to 2. We also need v of 8, and that's not the uh, juice here. That's the value of our function v at x equals 8. And that'll give us uh, 8 minus 1 8th. The other two pieces we need are u prime of 8 and v prime of 8. So let's go ahead and evaluate those now. So u prime of 8 is going to be 1 third times 8 to the power of negative 2 thirds. And so we can take the time to simplify that and we'll end up with, that'll give us 1 twelfth. The last piece we need to use our product rule formula is v prime of 8. And let's see, that's going to be uh, 1 plus 8 to the negative second. That's going to be 1 plus 1 over 64. So it might be nice to actually kind of combine those fractions and v and v prime. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so now we're putting our pieces together using our product rule formula over here. First, we take the value of u prime, which is 1 12th. We multiply that by the value of v, which is 63 eighths. Then we add to that the product of u and v prime and their values. So u had a value of 2, and v prime had a value of 65 64 The value we get when we multiply and add these quantities together is exactly 43 16 Or as a decimal, that's 2.6875. So 
So that is the value of the derivative of this function at the x value of 8. And here, the point was to kind of see that we don't have to actually put all the pieces together in this uh, algebraic formula in terms of x. We can evaluate the pieces at the x value of interest and put those together instead. That'll uh, save us a little bit of time in certain cases and also reduce the chance that we make some, make, uh, some kind of little computational error.